Hello everyone, here is Brunia. Today's tutorial will be about Kitab's parallax and how to make SkyFi parallax room. I made loads of them. Shout out to my SkyFi Cyberpunk packs. If you want to, you can grab it. If not, you can create one by yourself. So looks like that links in the description so let's get started let's go to the kitab's parallax and let's load parallax template file we start simple huh now straight after let's save it i'll save it on desktop sky for parallax save us okay so for this tutorial I won't model anything. I will use one of my D-packs called Panelex. It has 20 models and it's enough to make SkyFi par Sky Parallax room. You can use your models. You can grab this pack from Blender Market. I will leave a link in the description, of course, again. So, let's go. Here we can change size of our room. Let's make it 2 and 5 high and 2 and 5 on X. Yes, amazing. So now let's just place models. So panels for the floor, for walls. And for ceiling. So I'm using machine tools and hard ups. So press Alt X for mirror. Okay, we have this. Shift D for duplicate, Shift Z and place it here. Okay, I think that's good. Yes, that's good. Now let's place this for the back. Let's scale it with the wheel, place it, place the middle and we can scale it on X. Let's grab this and make room a bit bigger, larger. So, okay. Okay. For ceiling. We can use the same. Shift D, scale on Z minus one. Yeah, for the front ceiling, let's add this one. Scale it. And scale on X. Okay, amazing. And for left and right, let's place this one. Scale on C. Alt X for mirror. Okay, looks good, looks good, and now let's add models for the back, let's place this, it will be some kind of sky fi station, energy station, can be, why not, let's add this one here, maybe a little bit more at front, now, for placing models here, let's go to Kitab's Parallax documentation. Shout out to Chip Walter, the creator of this add-on. This documentation has everything. Like, if you have any questions, of course you can message me. You can put your questions in the comments. But 
Link to the, to the documentation is in the description. So, we have four collections. Sprite front, Sprite 1, Sprite 2, Sprite 3. And we need to place our models in these areas. So, I, I will just show you. So, for Sprite front, usually I use decals, but it will be separate tutorial. So first we can use this for sprite 1. We need to remove kit of props, add this insert here at the front. Yes. Um, and place it in sprite 1 collection. That's very important. Sprite 1 collection. Sprite 2 we will not use. We'll use Sprite 3. And for Sprite 3, let's place a cylinder. Yes. M Sprite 3. Now, let's select our objects. Ctrl I. And select walls and place it in the room collection no collections in the collection that's very important only objects and let's press ctrl a visual geometry to mesh and ctrl l a apply rotation scale sorry let's Change materials a little bit, just add metallic to all materials and play a bit with roughness. One suggestion for the back use materials with higher roughness no with lower roughness make it rough for the front opposite higher roughness it's very important it will just look much much better but maybe not this one let's change it yes and make it darker now let's add a real light make it maybe 50 shift D scale on X scale on Y power 100 will be all right Now, go to Kitops Parallax, Parent All Objects, and set room for scale. Let's check how it looks in cycles. Yeah, that looks... Maybe, let's play with this light, maybe 75. Okay, this is good, this is good. One more thing. Select these objects, change pilot point, individuals, and scale it on Y. At the end result, it will look much better if they were scaled. And that's it! Let's just... Delete empties, and yeah, that's it. Now we can render it. One more, just forgot one thing, back to working scale. Let's take lights, parent all objects, and put it in the room collection, yes. Set room scale for render, and 
check with holder and render all. Let's go. See you in a bit. Okay, now we have everything and we can create cross map and create material. Here we go. Let's just play with sprite reposition. And sprite one. Looks very high. Yeah. Like that. But you can see some artifacts here and here. So now we will need to render everything separately. Uh, it's very simple. So, select this, disable from rendering, and render only ceiling. Save a render in the same folder. Save as this was ceiling. Okay. Now, render floor, save as floor, now, it's back, take, disable from rendering floor and ceiling, and render left and render the right one. And disable walls from rendering and render only back. Now we can create cross map and create material. And now look, it's perfect. No artifacts at all, you see. For this line, we can play with cutout alpha fall. Yes, now we don't have it. So now it looks perfect. Here we go. That's how you make Sky for Parallax Room. Now let's add it to the GitHub inserts. I will save in the same folder as Panelix. Create insert. Insert name Sky Fi Parallax. Now press Ctrl. Press 7 and now Ctrl Alt 0. Camera to insert. Render thumbnail and close factory settings. Let's go back to model scene. Let's save it. Let's open new scene. And let's. And this room. So as you can see, it works perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. It was my first tutorial about GitHub's Parallax. More are coming. I have what to show you. So thank you again and see you.